Hi everyone, it's Chief Instructor Brett. Welcome to the Canberra United Taekwondo Black Belt video. This video is aimed at first degree black belts and junior black belts with the pattern and technique requirements that we expect. It's also a very valuable tool for second degree black belts and above. So we'll go through the patterns. There'll be a section specifically on the pattern kicks, going into a little more detail about them. There'll be some of the more advanced and dynamic kicks that we would expect black belts to be able to perform. And then there'll be a section on some combinations where I'll run you through some combinations that I would like you to practice as well. Okay, we're gonna start with a warm up. Let's go, jogging lightly on the spot. We're gonna start with our fingers, just open and close the hands. Circles with our hands, warm out the wrists. Change direction. Elbows. Good feet back and forth. Swing one arm forwards. And backwards. Other hand forwards. And backwards. Good jogging again. Hands in front, cross the body. One up, one down, interchange. Star jumps, uh, jumping jacks. And relax, feet wide, twisting. Just let your body wrap around behind. Let one heel come off the ground so that you don't put any pressure through your knees because you really want this to just all be in your back and your stomach. Good, bring the legs back in, shoulder width, waist circles. Change direction. Good, relax, put your right leg behind. We're gonna do a knee, a straight leg raise, and a kick, all on the one count. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Knit. Change legs. Hana. Do. Set. Knit. Oh, I've got to run that's okay. All right, pick up one leg in your chamber position to the side, bobbing your knee up and down. And hold the knee up, foot back and forth. Oh, watch your balance. Change legs, pick up the knee, knee up and down. Keep the knee up, foot back and forth. Good, relax, just curl the heels up behind, shake your hands out, roll the shoulders forwards and backwards, make sure you're nice and relaxed. Okay, you're almost complete the warm up. I want you to pause now and I want you to do four front kicks, side kicks, turning kicks and back kicks with each leg, stationary, and then come back to the video and we're going to start with black belt patterns. We're now going to go through Quang Gae Hyun, the first of the black belt and first degree patterns. Chun Bi, Chun Bi for Quang Gae, 
feet are still shoulder width and we have our thumbs and our index fingers touching and they form a nice triangle that we're looking slightly upwards on that angle. First move, we break our hands and bring our left leg out nice and strong. Make sure you have good balance, then draw your hands down, then bring them in at the bottom into closed stance. Feet touching, left hand wrapped around your right fist. Move your left leg forwards into forward stance. Prepare by having both fists upside down. Pressing upset punch with the right. Then we move forwards, turn the fists over. Right leg forwards, pressing upset punch with the left. We're then going to step our left leg just in front of our right toes. Nice fast steps. We're going to step one, two into forward stance and do a high knife hand block. We're then going to slide back with the right leg and the left leg will slide back into a back stance, low section knife hand guarding. We then take our quick step forward, so step one, two, forward stance, high section knife hand block. We then pick up our left leg, slide back into back stance, low section knife hand guarding. We then move our left leg forwards, nice preparation, knife hand guard in rear heel foot stance, in back stance. Right leg forwards, knife hand guard, rear heel foot stance. We place our right leg straight down. We take a short step forwards with our left. So down, step, then we step through, turn, and execute pressing upward palm block with the right. Make sure our, hand, our arm is nice and flat. We then move the right leg forwards, pressing upward palm block with the left. We then bring our left leg up to, to our right leg, close stance, prepare both hands up, come around and execute a knife hand strike with the right, down into your left palm. We leave the hands where they are and we execute our double side kick. Pick the left knee up, kick one, chamber, two, then step into back stance, inward knife hand strike with the right. Remember it's on an angle, it's not flat. So it's out this way a little bit, left fist on the right shoulder. We then bring our left leg back to close stance and execute a downward hammer fist strike with the left. We then turn our head but we leave our left hand out and we do our double side kick this way. Right, knee high, chamber, kick, step down, back stance, inward knife hand strike with the left. Then we bring our right leg into close stance, downward hammer fist strike with the right. We then step our left leg forwards, pressing double palm block. Right leg forwards, Pressing double palm block. When we do this block, our bottom hand extends all the way down so it's straight. Our top hand comes up as though we're just doing that single palm block. Not high like a teapot, just to here. We're then going to pick up our right leg and step to the back. And we step forwards towards, oh, sorry, towards the front. We step forwards towards the front in horse riding stance. And do a high section back fist strike. We then slip our right leg across to this way into forward stance and do a double forearm block. We then shift both legs backwards, just a short shift back and we change from double forearm block and just add a low section block with our left hand. We then pick our right leg up, bring it in to prepare. We prepare our right hand in a flat fingertip strike, and then we slide forwards into a long stance, which is like an elongated forward stance, and do a pressing flat fingertip strike, high section with our right. We then pick our left leg up, and we turn to the back, high section back fist strike, in horse riding stance. We then move our right leg across. Now remember, when we did this to that direction, we slipped our front leg which was our right. Now we're slipping our back leg, which is also our right. Okay, so after your high section back fist, we slip our right leg this way, into forward stance and do our double forearm block. We then shift both legs back, and we add the low section block only with the right. Left hand stays here. 
We then bring our left hand and our left leg back to prepare, and we slip or slide forwards, deep, long stance, flat fingertip strike with the left. That's a pressing move. We then step the right leg forwards into forward stance. We pick our knee up nice and high, twin vertical punch in forward stance. We then pick our left leg up, prepare both fists back on the hip. We turn to our left, big stomp with the left as we do our twin upset punch with the right. We then do our front kick with the right moving forwards, leave the hands where they are, kick, recoil, step down with your heel just in front of your left big toe. We keep going in the same direction, we turn and do a knife hand guard in back stance. With our left leg, we move forwards and do a high section punch in forward stance. With our right leg, we pick it up and do a stomp, twin upset punch, just like we did the other direction. So our right leg's in front, we've done our twin upset punch. We pick up our left leg and do our front kick, step down just in front of our right toes, keep going in the same direction, prepare, turn into our knife hand guard. We then pick up the right leg, step forwards, and we shout with a high section punch. At the completion of a black belt pattern, we would go, playing game, and we say the name of the pattern. We then come back to Chumbi, left leg back, shoulder width apart with the feet, make our hands here. Shoulder relax. That is Quangye Hyang, the first of the black belt patterns. Okay, now we're going to do Po An Hyang, which is the second of the black belt patterns. Now, for those who train with me regularly, you know that I don't spend a lot of time working on Po An in class, so we probably spend enough time on it as is, and let's move on to Gabe. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we're going to do Po An. Break it down in detail. Chumbi, and then Po An for Chumbi. Chumbi for Po An, which is exactly the same as for Quang Gai. To your left, mid, oh, forearm guarding, back stance. Pick your right leg up, do your twin punches with your left higher than your right, one leg sitting stance. With your left, with your right leg, knee high side kick, step across, Knife hand strike. With your right hand, just place it now as though you're placing it on someone's shoulder. Then a hooking punch with your left. Now from here, you bring your left hand up, right hand low, and we're going to do this motion. Now this is a high section inner forearm block. This, people often think it's a punch, it's actually a downward block. Not a low section block, so it doesn't just block across. So you execute it a little bit like a punch, so from here, it comes up and it drives down and you've twisted at the bottom. Okay, so you twist it strong. So that forearm would deflect something across. Okay, so one more time. Downward, then the right hand does the downward block. Left hand comes up in a forearm. Then both hands come down low, prepare, in a forearm blocks, twin. With your right hand now, we extend it slightly and drive it back into an elbow strike behind your left palm comes onto the right fist. We don't look, we just keep looking straight ahead. We then execute a right punch straight ahead and the left hand just places down on top of the elbow as though we're covering. From here, your left hand drives back and does your elbow strike behind. Now from here, we're gonna do two punches across to our right. The left hand does a hooking punch while the right hand does a straight punch across. Both punches are mid-section. So not up here, just nice down here. You then step your left leg across in front of your right. Your right hand comes down in a reverse low section out of forearm block. And your left hand just comes on top as though you were just taking your pulse. You just rest the finger belly on your wrist, inside of the wrist. Okay, so from here, come down to this position. Your right leg then moves forward into back stance and you execute a reverse U-shaped block. Now when we do U-shaped block in blue belt pattern, it's the same motion except that front hand is just, the top hand is twisted around. 
So it's like this. And your thumb points straight down in line with your palm. So reverse U-shaped block. Then bring your left leg up to your right leg. Pressing as you turn your head. Twin elbow strike. So you really put that emphasis on fast and then just pressing. So from here, move, press and look. Your left leg now shoots across into horse riding stance. Your right hand does a high section back fist strike and your left hand does a low block. You then step your right leg in front of your left leg into X stance and you execute a downward, inward reverse out of forearm block with the right. Okay, and your right hand, so we've done here, your right hand comes around and you block and meet in the middle. Okay, as though they're having a wall with each other and the right hand is trying to push the left fist away. You then step, step your left leg across into horse riding stance, bring both hands up, high preparation, reverse low section knife hand guarding. So remember reverse is where the front hand is just flipped over so you're blocking with the side of your hand where your thumb is. That's the halfway point of the pattern. Now we're going to do the whole thing again, but the opposite side. So we pick the right leg up and do forearm guarding in back stance. We then pick the left leg up and do our twin punches here. Make sure the left fist comes up as though it's an uppercut punch to the chin. The right fist goes up as though it's a higher uppercut punch to someone who's much taller. Leave the hands where they are, knee high side kick, step down, knife hand strike. Bring your left hand to the front as though it's placing and then do your right hooking punch. Then prepare your right elbow high and drive your right downward block straight down, your left hand comes up in a high section inner forearm block. Prepare the left elbow up, block the other way, then both hands double inner forearm block. With your left fist now, elbow strike behind you, then a left punch, and your right finger belly just rests on the left elbow. Then your right fist, elbow strike behind. You then do your stationary, twin punches across, right punch is a midsection, hooking, and your left goes this way. Then step your right leg across in front, into X stance, Right in front of left, your left block comes down, re downward, reverse, low section, out of forearm block, and your right hand comes on top, finger belly rests on the wrist. Then step your left leg across into back stance, and execute your reverse U-shaped block. Then bring your right leg into close stance, pressing twin elbow to turn your head, ready to go back this way. Step the right leg across into horse riding stance. High section, back fist with the left. Low section block with the right. Then step the left leg in front of the right and execute your right fist in a downward block into your left palm. Then pick both your hands up, prepare, drive across, horse riding stance, reverse low section block with knife hands. And that would be... Ta -da! The shout for the end of the pattern, POM! And we say the name of the pattern. Now with the last leg to move is our right leg. We step this way. Remember that it's left leg that comes back to your POM chumbi stance. Okay, that completes POM. Keep practicing, work hard. This is Gabe Kiyan, the third of the first degree patterns. Chumbi. Step your right leg back into back stance. Upward X block in knife hands. Leave the hands where they are and execute a low twisting kick with the right. Step forwards, midsection punch right, midsection punch left. Step your right leg back into forward stance. High block with the left, low block with the left. Pressing, see my right heel, you may not see it. My right heel has come up. And then press across, double arc hand block. We then prepare and do a guarding towards the front. We then step our left leg down on a 45 degree angle. 
and do an upward palm block with the left, punch with the right, big preparation, back fist strike straight ahead with the left, and we bring our right fist underneath so the elbow is resting on the wrist. So those should look like this. One, two, three. Nice and fast, nice and strong. We then step our right leg back onto the same line as our left leg, but not touching our heel, about this much gap. So from horse running stance, we're here, bring the right leg back, then bring the left leg forwards, knife hand guarding in back stance. Pick up your left leg, front kick with the left, step down into forward stance, high section flat fingertip strike, reverse high section flat fingertip strike. Bring your right leg through, side kick with the right, turn, step down, forearm guarding, back stance. Then we step forwards and turn, forearm guarding, in back stance. Then we step behind, turn, knife hand guarding in back stance. Okay, so it will look like after your side kick, guard, guard, knife hand guard. The left leg is in front, it stays in front but slips into horse riding stance and you execute a number nine shape block, right hand low, left hand up. Now I want you to think about when you're doing that block, your hands cross over, right hand starts high, left hand starts low, and it's like someone has grabbed you, and you try and fold them over. If they grab, you would fold them over with this motion. So we come up, and turn into our number nine shape block. Should feel really strong, bring that left arm up, arm up, arm up strong. Pick up your right leg, step through, turn, Prepare into forward stance, low section, knife hand block. We're now going to do a turning kick and a jumping side kick going in this direction. These kicks, like all the kicks, I've broken down in a later section in this video to really go through them. Okay, you execute your turning kick with the right, step down, feet parallel, jumping side kick with the right, step down, twin vertical punch. So fist will be like this, twin vertical punch, in forward stance. Pressing, see my left heel again, comes up and presses across, double arc block. I forgot what to do. Twin vertical punch, press, then from here, stationary, left hand back, fist upside down, upset punch with the left. Then we step one into horse riding stance, two into forward stance and do our right elbow into our left arm. We then skip the right leg, we jump forwards, right leg and then the left leg follows in X stance and we do a high section double forearm block. When we do this in fifth cut pattern, it's down here, level with the shoulder, here, it's up here, fist is more like level with the nose, high section. We then step our left leg out on a 45 degree angle and we do upward palm block with the right, punch with the left, back fist with the right. So they're the same three techniques as earlier in the pattern, but with the opposite hands. So from here, we pick up our left leg and we turn and pivot into forward stance facing the back. At the same time, we're going to do an inward reverse knife hand strike with the right. And our left hand is going to come down on top as it does when we do this technique, when we do flat fingertip strike in seventh cut pattern. So left leg comes around and we strike this way. Our right hand is striking at neck height. Our left hand is on top. We're then going to do a turning kick where we shift or low slide shift across with the left, like a little jump, and we do our turning kick out on an angle. So we kick here, recoil, step back on the line we were on in this X stance, then left leg comes around, twin vertical punch in forward stance. We then bring our left leg back, slip it back into back stance, and do an upward mid knuckle strike, left fist back to the right shoulder, 
and the strike is on a slight angle, not straight ahead, about that 30 degree angle. We then step our right leg through and we turn into horse riding stance and we're going to do a number nine shape block, the other hands this time. So left hand high, right hand low and we step and smash the block this way. So your right hand finishes up, left hand finishes down and you can really see why it's called a number nine shape block. Stationary, from here, prepare, reverse, so reverse, low section, knife hand guarding towards the back, and then prepare, normal low section, knife hand guarding towards the front. We step our left leg through, W shape block, then we step our left leg again, W shape block. We then step our right leg towards the back, forward stance, rising block right, mid-section punch with the left. Then stationary turning, rising block left, Stationary midsection punch and key hat to finish. Ta! Gay back. Then we bring our right leg forwards to our chumbi. That is gay back young. You've now completed all three of the black belt first degree patterns. For junior black belts, you are required to know Quangay and Poan only. Remember, after this, if you keep watching now, there's a section where I break down all the kicks in those three patterns. Some of them are a little complicated. It's really good to watch that and practice as well so you get your kicks just right. Good work. In this session, I'm going to go through the kicks in all of the first degree patterns. So starting with Quang Gay, we'll work through in sequential order and just, I'll have a little bit of a chat about how I want you to execute the kicks within those patterns. We'll also practice each kick three or four times on each leg. Um, if you want to practice more when we get to them, of course, just pause before you move on. So the first kick we get to is when we've just done this in Quang Gay. Okay, your right knife hand's in your left hand. We're doing the double side kick. The first kick is a knee high side kick. It's full power. I don't want a little raise. So leave the hands where they are, kick, recoil, kick again, and then we would step down into our inward knife hand strike on a slight angle. So you get as much height on that second kick as you can without losing technique. So if you can kick high section, that's great. I can't kick high section without losing technique, so I make my second kick lower. The first kick is always at knee high. Okay? From side on, make sure you're seeing this nice side on position and this nice side on position. Okay, I want you to keep that nice, correct technique. Okay, let's do four with each leg, starting on the left. Go. Two. Oh, I wobbled a little bit, work on that. Three. And four. After the knife hand strike, we then would come back to close stance and do the downward hammer fist with the left. So we'll move straight on to our right kicks. Let's do four. Go. That's one. Two. Now with three and four, we're going to add the knife hand. Three. One more. Okay, later on in Quang Gay, we've got the front kicks. They're from twin upset punch in forward stance. So from this position, I've got my right leg back, I've got my twin upset punch. I keep the hands where they are, I kick, I step down with my right foot just next to my left big toe, and I turn through to a knife hand guard. So we won't do the full turn on each kick, but that's the full technique. So let's do a couple from here. Don't kick so high that it looks like a raise. Make sure your kick is going forwards. One. Two. Three. Now on the last one, we'll do the full step down and turn. Go. Good. Now do the same with the left. One. 
should say at this point, if you're more flexible on one leg than the other, when you do your pattern, try and make both kicks the same height. Okay, we want consistency and symmetry whenever possible. So if you're really flexible on the right but not on the left, when you do your pattern, make both kicks the same when we're doing the same kick with both legs. Let's go for two. Three. Now we'll add the full turn. Make sure you step down right next to your right big toe. Go. Excellent. So that's Quangay done. Now in Po One, the first kick comes when we're on our left leg on the ground, right knee up, one leg sitting stance, having just done our twin punch. Okay, so I'll try and move back in the shot a little bit. From here, you keep your hands up, you have a bit of a look, side kick, prepare into the knife hand strike. So again, the body position is important even though it's only a knee high kick. I don't want you to just uh, leave your hips here. And so from side on, from here, that's no good because I didn't turn. So I need to push through with the hip, then bring it back for my horse running stance. Okay, let's go for four with the right leg. One. Two. Three. Now we'll do the full knife hand strike on the end of it. Hands up, go. And across. Second half of the pattern, we'll be doing it the other way. So our hands are up, we've just done a strike, we're looking this way. One. Two. Three. Now we'll add the full knife hand strike on the end of it. Four. Then you bring it in and move on. So po on, obviously, is not a lot of kicking. Gay back. There's a few kicks in gay back, and some of them are quite tricky. The first kick we're going to do is right leg back, and we've just done our upward X block. Now from here, it's a low section twisting kick, so we need to, there's a couple of points, we need to keep the hands where they are, and we need to make sure that we create room for the twisting kick. So it's not just a flick like this, we want to get our hips going towards the left, and then the knee comes through on the inside of the centre line. So then it can travel round the other way. I really want you to imagine a target that's facing this way, not this way. And you come in and hit the target in that direction. Okay? So right leg back, X block, twisting kick, in and across. We would then step down with our double punch. Okay? Let's do four of them, just the kick first. One, two. Now we'll add the double punch. Three. And last one, four. Excellent work. Okay, you then work your way through the pattern. The next one, we will have our left leg in front, right leg back, knife hand guarding. So from this knife hand guarding position, we pick up our left leg and do a front kick. Then we step down, forward stance, high section flat fingertip strike, followed by reverse right flat fingertip strike. Then we'll do a side kick with the right, and then step down, turn into a four fist guarding. So we're just going to do the front kick, strike, strike, and side kick a couple of times, then we'll add the full turn. So do it with me, your left leg's in front, go. Front kick, strike, strike, side kick. Again, go. Now we'll add the turn into the forearm guarding from back stance, go. Last one, go. Excellent work. A bit later on in the pattern, we've done a turn into a low section knife hand block. We're then going to do a turning kick, followed by a jumping side kick going straight forwards. 
When we do the turning kick, we don't go past our centre line. We make sure we stop the turning kick right on the centre line. So from your forward stance, hop into your knife hand block. With the right leg, do your turning kick to there. Then we step down parallel. Parallel stance on a very slight angle this way. Okay, we don't want to step here because we don't want to close off. So if you step to here, that's fine. So you're almost side on. So when you're doing your pattern, if you step to side on, that's completely fine. But make sure you step down so your feet are shoulder width apart. So from side on, I do my turning kick. One, step like this, then both legs jump to do my side kick. After your side kick, you come down with twin vertical punch at cheekbone height. Let's do it together. Right leg is back. Turn and kick. Step. Side kick. Twin vertical punch. I'm coming back. I may be getting too close to the end of the camera. Ready? Go. One more time. Oh, two more times. Go. Now, when we step here, I'm not going to do too much technique that's not part of the kick because this is a kicking thing. But when you come down, it's very easy to leave that left foot open. Okay? Really try and close that hip across. We'll do it one more time from your knife hand block. Go, kick, jump inside, twin vertical punch. Excellent work. Okay, the last kick in Gaybet is the turning kick where we kick off on an angle and we just shift our left leg across. Your left leg, so it's from forward stance again, okay, it's after this, it's after the inward reverse knife hand strike. We're gonna do the turning kick off on an angle, not quite 45 degrees, maybe 30 degrees off centre, but our left foot is going to shift across about half a shoulder width. So it's not a, it's not a jump, we don't jump up and down, but we don't step either. It's a shift that we do while we're kicking. And if you can imagine getting your hips into position to drive the kick, that foot on the ground just assists with that motion, okay? So from forward stance, our forward stance is straight ahead this way. This is my center line, straight at the camera. When I do my kick, I shift my left foot off that centre line and I do my kick short of the centre line. So everything looks like from here, I shift, kick, then I step my right leg back onto the centre line where, it's, where my body started, turn and do my twin vertical punch. So if you think about your train tracks, you're stepping on the outsides of the train tracks, there's the centre line. You jump off the track, or you shift off the track, then you step in the middle of the track and come back this way. Okay, let's do four of them. So from this position, go. Go. Two more. From this position, go. Okay, now I felt that my left foot really didn't shift then. I don't know if you noticed it, but I certainly did. So we really work on that shift. Last one. Go. Excellent. So that completes all the kicks in all the first degree patterns. So if you work through this and just practice those kicks over and over again, when you do the full pattern, you do it so much better when you're confident in your kicks. As we progress through the black belt ranks, as you can see from Gay Beck, the kicks get more difficult and more complicated than, say, from Quang Gay and Poan. So it's really important that we try to master those kicks. It's an ongoing process and we're always trying to improve. Good work. I'm now going to go through four advanced kicks that I would expect a black belt to be able to perform. We start with jumping side kick. What it's gonna be is 
our kicking leg is behind and we take one step and then our kicking leg is in front and we jump on both legs and kick. So from side on, my right leg is going to kick, I step, feet parallel, jump and do the jumping side kick. Now, for those of you who know Gabe Young, which is the third of the black belt patterns, you'll know that this kick is actually in that pattern. So, kicking leg behind, I'm going to start with my right leg behind, guarding, take a step, both legs, bang, and jump and kick. So you're looking, as you leave the ground, you're looking to tuck both legs up as high as you can. Alright, and then you shoot the right leg out. So as the right leg comes up, as you jump, it's got to come up in that chamber. The left leg's got to leave the ground, because it's important that you get height, but then you'll see that the left leg then trails back down, ready to land. And when you finish the kick, you land on one leg, which is your non-kicking leg. Okay, so one more time. Right leg behind, step, step. And with the left leg, left leg behind, one step, step. And kick with the left. Okay, so that is one step, jumping side kick. There are lots of different variations of jumping side kicks, flying side kicks. So if you know others, you can practice them. But this is one that I really want you to be able to understand and perform. So if you want to practice it now, pause the video and practice it a few times. Now we're going to do one step jumping turning kick. So with this, our kicking leg is going to be in front when we leave the ground. So we start with it behind and we take a step and so now it's in front and then we're going to do a pumping motion and kick with that. So I'm going to make it all a bit easier to explain. My right leg is going to be behind. My right leg does the step. I pump and my right leg does the kick. So it's one step pumping, jumping, turning kick. So we guard. Now when we pump, remember the left knee comes up and then your right knee comes up out to the side a little bit in your chamber so it can come across. When you bring your right leg out here, your left knee is up like this and as you kick, you've got to roll the left knee out to get that motion. Same as we would when we do a turning kick, you watch my left knee, the left knee rotates out. So when we do the jumping turning kick, oh, that's the wrong step. So, jumping turning kick with the right, my left hip, left knee have to roll out to the side. You're looking to try and get as much height as you can by pushing off with that left knee. That gives you the height and the right knee comes up as well. The more power you can get off that left, the more height, the better the kick will be. This is a kick that I always struggle with to get height, but I keep working on it. So one more time, right leg, step, turn, and kick. With my left leg, I take one step, turn, and kick with the left. Okay, if you want to practice that, pause now, practice a few times. Okay, we're now going to do front leg flying back kick. Now, with the turning kick, I should have said, you can do it with the step, as I showed you, or you can do it without the step. So if you want to just start with your kicking leg in front, you can drive off the ground, pump, and do the turning kick that way. Same principle applies with this kick I'm going to show you now, which is the front leg flying back kick. You can do it with a step or without a step. But the important thing is, when you leave the ground, it's your kicking leg that's in front, and it's your non-kicking leg that drives through, and then you turn into that back kick motion. So I'm going to show you how to do it without the step, because it's a little bit easier to explain. I take my right leg and put it in front, that is my kicking leg. My left leg is behind. I'm going to drive forwards, so my left knee is in the, my left leg is in the air now, my right leg is still on the ground. So this is called that pumping motion where one leg leaves the ground before the other. So our left knee drives through and then we turn and we twist. So I'm sighting my target, I drive my left knee, left knee through, I turn and then I see the target again. So all I need to now do is add on that back kick. So from here, drive the knee, jump, turn, turn, sight, and try and find that target. One more time. 
drive the knee, turn, and kick. Now, if you're watching carefully, you'll see that both my kicks have pushed out to the side a little bit. That's what tends to happen when I'm not focusing on that target. Okay, I've really got to try and see the target and look, turn, and bring the leg round in that motion. With the other leg now, my left leg in front, my left leg will do the kicking, I drive the right knee, turn, and kick. Now I'll just show you that kick again with the step, that's a variety you can do. So now I put my kicking leg behind, and I take one step, and then, turn, jump and kick with the right. And with the left leg, I put my left leg behind, one step, turn, jump and kick. So that's front leg, jumping, pumping, turning kick. If you'd like to practice, pause now and do a few. Okay, the next kick is jumping, spinning, heel kick. We do jumping, spinning, heel kick in a similar way we do spinning, heel kick. Spinning, heel kick, we're looking to initiate the spin, spin, kick, and finish 360 degrees around so we finish exactly where we start. Jumping, spinning, heel kick, we're looking for that similar motion where the leg comes back and finishes here. Now, with the jumping, spinning, heel kick, I want you to keep your leg nice and straight. We are still thinking about straight leg, strong foot position, toes pulled back where we're hitting with the back of our heel. I also want you to remember that with spinning heel kick, we try and kick in this wedge. Jumping spinning heel kick is the same. We want to jump and get our height early with our leg, and then we want the foot to be sweeping across, fairly level, and then come back around. Our target is here, but if you put a target here, or a target here, or both, I would want you to be trying to hit both targets. So we jump and spin at the same time. We don't just jump up, and we don't spin and then jump. We sort of bend the knees and we jump and spin all at once. Now it's important that you keep your hip turned over, not open like this. If you open your hip, your toes come up and it becomes an outward, a jumping outward spinning crescent kick. We want to keep the hip closed over so it comes through. If you imagine how your hip is in a side kick or in a spinning heel kick, that's exactly what we do. So keep it closed over. From there, okay, we jump. Leave the ground, turn, and we finish up here. So I'm looking to hit all three targets, and the idea is that my foot is passing through these three point, points while my left foot is still in the air. Then my left foot lands, and my right foot will continue its circle and come around where it started. So watch again, turn. All right, so jumping, spinning, heel kick. I'll show you with the left leg. So, pause now and practice that kick a couple of times, but that does complete the four kicks that I wanted to take you through that I would, hoping that a junior black belt or a first degree black belt would be able to work on and try and master. Senior black belts who are watching this really work on these dynamic kicks as well because you've got more advanced ones to build on top of that as well. We're going to start easy. Our first kicking combo is just side kick, turn and kick, back kick. Turn! Turn! With the other leg. Turn! Side kick, turn and kick, back kick. Practice now. The next kicking combo is turning kick, jumping side kick, jumping, pumping, turning kick. Okay, so let's do that one. All three kicks are with the same leg. First with the right. And the left. Turning kick, jumping side. Jumping, pumping, turn, turning. 
Practice that. The next kicking combo is front leg, front kick, step down, flying back kick, step down, jumping back kick with the other leg. This is the one that I struggle with because it's really hard with a back kick with one leg then with the other leg. It's a good challenge to try and get that straight line going. Okay, so my right leg back, left leg in front, left leg, front kick, step down, left leg flying back kick, right leg jumping back kick. On the other side, my right leg's in front now, right leg, front kick, step down, right leg flying back kick, left leg jumping back kick. Practice that. The final kicking combination I want you to work on from Gardy, back leg, turning kick, step down, spinning heel kick, step down, jumping spinning heel kick. So it'll be a right leg turning, left leg spinning heel, left leg jumping spinning heel. It'll look like this. Ta! Ta! And with the other leg, Turning kick, spinning heel, jumping, spinning heel. That completes the kicking combinations. Practice this last one and then you're ready to move on. Now we're going to do a little bit of work on your shadow sparring, working towards free sparring that's appropriate for black belts. So we're going to focus on two on one. Now when you're doing shadow sparring, sometimes it's just kicks and punches, and that's great. We're working on our technique, we're working on our speed, our timing, trying to become more dynamic. But in this section, I want you to think about how you've got, how you will have two attackers when you're doing the sparring. So I want you to be thinking, I've got an attacker ta, here, and then I've got to get over to this one while keeping this one in mind. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate for 30 seconds and then you're going to do three lots of 30 seconds after that by yourself. So I want you to really try and get the feel of avoiding one person while working towards the other person. Okay, let's go. Ta! 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 We're now just going to do a couple of quick stretches to finish off the black belt video. So the first one, feet shoulder width, legs straight, just stretch down, keeping your back straight, stretch through, keep breathing, keep the back straight, You're trying to feel the stretch through your back, the lower part of your back because we're keeping the back straight, and right up through the hamstrings, down through the back of the knee. Good, from there just bend your knees, reach right down, place your hands flat on the floor or even reach behind and grab your ankles. And if you can from there, straighten your legs. Bend your knees again, get down even lower. I'm actually putting my hands now under my heels, really getting low, straighten your legs.
Release your hands. Put your hands on the floor. Walk them forwards, keeping your legs straight until you feel your heels about to come off the ground. So you should be now feeling the stretch through your calf muscles, which are here, as well as through the back of the knee and up into parts of your hamstring. Good, walk your hands back. Drop one knee down, put your other leg in front into our lunge stretch. Hands on the hips, just really lunge forward into a nice deep lunge. From there, take your left hand and put it just opposite, about this far to the side of your right foot. Pick up your left foot from the ground, reach around with your right hand and grab it and put your foot up towards your backside and then push forward into your lunge. Really work it in, work it in and relax. Good, swap legs. So into the lunge, hands on your hips, a nice deep lunge to start. Really push it, shoulders back, hips forwards. Come back up from that, place your right hand down about 30 centimetres to the inside of your left foot. Lean back, pick up that leg, try and reach it, okay? Pull it up to this position, pull your foot right up towards your backside and then push forward into your lunge and push forward and basically until it hurts a bit. And relax. Good, stand up straight. Take your feet out to about three shoulder widths apart. Legs straight, toes pointing straight ahead. Hinge at the hip and bring your back down so your back is flat and you're trying to take your whole chest down towards the ground. So from side on, it should look like this. And we're stretching down. Now from there, I want you to put your hands on the ground Take some weight through your hands and just let your heels slide out to the side until they can't slide out any further. So you're into your side split position. Now from there we're going to walk our hands forwards, keep the feet where they are, get to this position, roll the hips down, Roll the hips down, and we want the hips to reach the floor while keeping the shoulders as high as we can. For me, you might want to readjust your hands so you can push off. So we're not resting our whole body weight on the floor, but enough of our stomach and our hips are on the floor that we're not hurting our knees or our hips too much. Then from there, push with your hands. So the feet should have stayed exactly where they were. Walk them back, walk them back. Come back to the centre point. Just try and wobble. See if your legs will go out a tiny bit further. Just hold that. Then really push on your hands, take all the weight down through your hands and just walk your feet in slowly. Come up. Give your legs a bit of a shake. One final stretch. Feet into that position again. Turn one leg out to the side, other leg straight. Bend down through here. So you're into our side lunge position. Get your upper body twisted round so that your shoulder is in line with your heel. So it's as though you're doing a side kick in this direction. And really drop down through that stretch. Take the weight with your hands, or put your hand on your knees so you can drop in a bit further. Really work it. 
relax, come up, just pivot to the other side, straighten one leg, bend the other, drop into your lunge stretch, twist around so your shoulder is in line with your heel as I'm doing the side kick, lock that leg straight and hold it. Push down on the knee and really drop into that stretch. I sometimes push down on my hip just to really make sure I'm maximising that stretch. Come up. Give your legs another shake. Give your arms a shake. Well done. That completes the black belt video. Um, we've been through the patterns, the kicks from the patterns, a number of combination kicks, some advanced kicks that I want you to work on. And we've touched a little bit on the, the type of free sparring that I want you to be working on, working towards that multiple opponent free sparring. Um, I hope after that stretch you're feeling good, your heart rate's calmed down, you're nice and flexible. I hope you've enjoyed it. Keep training hard. Well done.